Good evening to all of you. Welcome you to today's webinar. Today we are going to have a look at the commodity market. Now, uh, on Tuesday we had a look at the uh, Indian indices, Nifty, Bank Nifty, and some stocks. And today, for a change, we will look at the commodity markets also and try to understand how the trend is in gold, uh, crude, uh, the natural gas, and copper. Now, we will first look at the bigger time frame and then uh, probably look at the smaller time frame where we have a lot of difficulties in certain types of commodities. So, first of all, we will look at gold and before that, the, we will look at the fundamental factors also driving gold and uh, crude and other prices up. Now, gold uh, generally. No, the uh, inter it is dependent on the international price and also the local Indian rupee uh, movement. The international price is generally you know very steady. It's eighteen hundred plus or minus some fifty dollars. That's how the general movement is. It's a little more static. So ever since it fell from two thousand level down to sixteen fifty, after that it is only in a consolidative mode. So there is no clear trend as far as gold is concerned. The fundamental factor driving gold price is that no the U.S. interest rates, the COVID situation. These are two important uh, things and of course the overall demand for gold. Now we are if you look at it the overall gold movement uh, over the last 10 years or so would have just given only some 8 to 10 percent return per annum. That's how you know if you look at the gold ETF that's how it comes. So gold is a very uh, uh, in some years it moves quite rapidly and in some years you know it moves it has some fall and over a period of time uh, the Indian gold price moves at say maybe probably at around 10 percent per annum or so. So, compared to equities, definitely no, this is a, a better investment. But if you compare it with equity, sometimes the equity asset prices, definitely no, it gives a lower return. Uh, but all said and done, gold is something where we have to stay invested because along with uh, FTs, uh, then uh, we have got gold, then of course the equity market and the real estate. All these things are important assets which we should have in our portfolio. And normally in India, gold is generally bought by Indian households. Now, most of the time they will ask whether the gold price is going up, whether what should we do or not. So for which we have to look at a big price, a big big picture. Then of course then if you are a, a trader in a shorter time frame, you have to look at a shorter time frame and develop a particular system to trade. Now we have already highlighted doing the uh, case of uh, uh, stocks in this is today. The uh, uh, trading is now taken almost by uh, computer models and algo. Now, if you see the amount of volatility uh, uh, in equity markets, sometimes in certain commodities like crude and other things, definitely no, you cannot catch it like a catch it as a trader. You cannot even punch the order in the system. You cannot even punch the order in the system. Today, Nifty is one classic example of the type of movement that it is uh, that it gave, and we will just illustrate uh, during the course of this uh, discussion today that how that those particular movements. It's very difficult for any individual trader to even catch it in uh, terms of even punching the orders because orders will not even get executed by the time it flies off on either side. Commodity market generally, you know, particularly the big commodities like gold, uh, you know, crude, silver, copper, generally has a phased movement in which crude has a much more volatile movement. So probably catching that as a trader may be much more slightly easier than trying to catch in the individual stocks or even indices at some times. So now we we'll look at, uh, as I told you, the gold is impacted by uh, no U.S. interest rates, which is also a function of U.S. inflation. Okay, U.S. inflation. So last year, we, when we saw U.S. interest rates being cut, we saw the gold moving quite fast. Now uh, interest rates are going to go up, so which means gold should slightly uh, gold should fall or consolidate uh, the, the lower side. But now it is more concentrating on inflation, which is now uh, gearing up on the higher side. And uh, gold normally is an edge against inflation. To that extent, gold prices are not falling despite the threat of higher interest rates. So to that extent, uh, no, we should be careful because it is getting balanced. Uh, no, uh, there is a balance of uh, forces which can take either gold slightly lower or higher. But nevertheless, I think the selling pressure in gold is abated because once it went up to 2000, the profit booking has already come. So we don't expect a big fall to happen. If at all there is a rise, it can be a big rise on the upside, for which there are no big fundamental factors at play. So right now, uh, it, it's going to be a very steady commodity giving a very, very steady return. So you need to be really a trader to catch the movement either in the upside or downside in order to generate a higher return than the investment return, right? So uh, we will look at the chart for that. So here, uh, uh, this is the uh, bigger time frame. This is weekly, 
and before that we will go to the monthly chart we will boil down from monthly weekly and daily so in the monthly chart right now uh, gold uh, uh, is a very see once it fell below this low then no uh, then it broke below this month low then uh, no after that i think no single month low has been broken so it is just holding up so as long as this price holds that is 1750 1753 holds as long as 1750 holds i think we can still say that no it is uh, uh, it is doing uh, okay that is it is steady now for it to become bullish it has to break this i which is 1881 so 1881 right now it's trading closer to the uh, 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 1840 levels so if it starts breaking 1881 then i think probably no we can see multi year highs coming back towards the 21 uh, 2100 or so then if it breaks at 1885 then it becomes a buy on dips then it becomes definitely a buy on dips so gold has to see that otherwise it can still consolidate on the uh, between the same level of 1750 to 1850 levels now we look at a weekly chart now why the monthly and weekly chart uh, are more important right now that can be explained once we see the daily chart and the intraday charts now in the weekly chart uh, if you see uh, no uh, ever since uh, the, uh, this uh, low we have seen a higher low coming here so we have already said in higher low is uh, considered to be bullish this is a higher low this is a higher low right so these are getting higher lows so these higher lows we are now uh, not trading the higher lows so once these uh, uh, lows are there Uh, then uh, no we we expect the uh, weekly pattern to uh, have generated a bullish signal so we are long from this place itself that is from 1766 from 1766 we are on the long side as far as the weekly chart is concerned and right now it's around the 1830 1830 uh, mark so uh, it has generated nearly a 3 a 3% or 4% return in the last couple of uh, 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 months say so october november december january so it's around 4% since then so it's a very steady movement that, that is taking place uh, as far as the uh, uh, gold is concerned so one can be on the upside as far as gold is concerned till such time this low is not broken because if you see the trend line we are now drawing into drawn trend line on the weekly chart so now if you see uh so this uh, line uh, is very important so one if it starts breaking this low only then in that case no or probably this low which is 1781 then we can we consider ourselves to be getting back onto a bearish mode in weekly chart so till that time the weekly chart is also on the upside now we will say look at the daily chart we are looking at the international prices then we will look at the indian price now uh, gold uh, on the uh, as far as the uh, indian uh, price is concerned Uh, in the recent period it just broke that 1822 since it broke the 1822 we are now bullish since uh, ever since it broke the 1822 we are bullish but if you look at the chart uh, the no the daily chart i'm just magnifying see this chart is not a very uh, tradable chart at all look at this chart uh, no you definitely know uh, there's great chance that no uh, it would have resulted in lot of losses by switching from buy to sell sell to buy so gold uh, is one uh, uh, commodity uh, in the last uh, couple of months since ever since the april may period itself of this year it is an it is a very non trending uh, um, uh, commodity right now and that is why we have, we should understand the fundamental factors the fundamental factors impacting the gold is dictating such a situation so we don't see expect anything big up big down and that is what is resulting in a very confused movement sometimes some buyers are showing interest at lower levels once it goes to 1870 1880 it is getting knocked out so this sort of uh, picture uh, you know has uh, turned the graph of daily chart in a very very uh, 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 what do you say consolidative or very sideways movement which is making trading very very uh, loss making proportion in the last couple of months so this is a very uh, uh, this situation also uh, as a trader you need to understand that whether no uh, how to trade even this particular uh, uh, type of uh, 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 charts so there here we are very clear that to uh, in the daily chart itself uh, this uh, come uh, this being on the uh, you can say uh, you, you can be on the upside till such time uh, no probably you can say uh, since uh, this particular low of 1766 which is what we saw in the weekly chart is cut so any downward upward movement you can keep buying 
and probably you know uh, uh, you can make some profit uh, when it goes a little on the higher side that's what you can do as far as uh, gold is concerned so you need to be buyer on dips uh, uh, just trade in a opposite to the trend system that is uh, you look at buying on dips and selling on rally that's how the gold looks like so gold basically doesn't look to, to be a trending thing so you have to adopt a different type of you know trading philosophy right now just buy on dips and sell on rally so that is what is the present gold situation uh, uh, in uh, international market so we will look at the indian futures uh, how it is mcx gold mcx gold futures so we will look at the mcx mini gold same thing the the way we saw the uh, uh, international chart the indian chart is also choppy uh, here, uh, no, uh, the choppiness can be seen because all the important moving averages, 20, 50, 100, 200, all are clustered together. All are clustered. They are not uh, no, uh, uh, mixing each other. They are just going up and down within themselves. So this sort of thing is not at all good as far as the uh, 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 this one trading is concerned. So if possible, I think traders, it's better to avoid gold for trading now. So that's the first thing that you, whether which commodity you should trade because you cannot get completely hooked to doing something uh, when things are not working. So right now gold is a commodity so whatever type of system you put there will be phases where there will be losses there will be continuous losses also. Gold will undergo such uh, no loss right now in a trend following system so it is better not no you switch to something which looks to be much better. So gold as thing will, is not recommended for trading right now and on the particularly on the daily chart and also uh, only in a weekly chart for investment or for monthly chart investment you can consider now go to any time frame it is like this so look at the hourly chart the hourly chart also gold uh, no it's very very choppy you buy somewhere you just see how the movement is is it uh, it does it look anything you know uh, uh, tradable it just goes up goes down the chart looks very pathetic and uh, more and more smaller time frame you go the chances that you will make a loss abounds so i think uh, no the gold is something which i think at present situation is not something where probably no you can uh, recommend easily from the from the trend following system from it from a trend following system so what is it that uh, no uh, it can be done what can be done so you can you have to uh, think sometimes to use some other uh, type of system which probably can help you so uh, if you remove this then you have to do what what we call as a Fibonacci ratio so let us say whether the numbers uh, can be used uh, to do something now uh, let's look at uh, uh, I think since this is a huge number of 47,500 and all we can look at the international gold price itself now gold futures uh, or XAU USD we look at the uh, XA USD gives you because we are not trying to understand how to trade right uh, so that you can apply now uh, let us say uh, uh, gold uh, um, so gold uh, 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 from uh, it, it uh, from 2018 levels uh, no it, it came down to 1687 and then it is moving up and down so let us say we will draw the Fibonacci for this entire uh, move this entire move okay I'll read it out for you uh, uh, the uh, 23.6 comes at 1772 38.2 comes to 1829 and 50% uh, is 1876 or 1880 so and 61.8% uh, is uh, 1922 so whenever it went to 1922 you can see uh, know the uh, see this is 1922 okay 1910 almost okay then uh, if you look at this particular thing which is the uh, 1834 uh, so this is uh, this is 1834 this is 0 0.5 this is 1876 you can look at this 1871 so 1871 is one important resistance then uh, it, it just came down to 1922 uh, uh, is what we are mentioning that is also a resistance then on the lower side uh, no we have this uh, uh, 1830 and then 1772 so 1772 is where probably you no know, we we get lot of uh, uh, 1765 1772 right 
So 1770 is holding. So many times 1770 seems to be holding. And if 1770 is broken, then in that case it went and then no probably had a resistance closer to the 18, 18, 18, 1820. And this is uh, as per this is 1830. So it goes very closer to that and then starts falling. So unless 1777 is broken. So if 1777 is broken, then in that case we can look at uh, no probably uh, uh, the uh, resistance coming back at 1830 levels. Till that time, I think you know we should uh, uh, probably look at since it went up closer to 1875-1876 recently, we should expect f uh, support uh, uh, resistance 1830 then 1772. So right now you can be a buyer and dips keeping 1765-1770 as a stop loss. So you have to now look at uh, you know keeping 1765 to 1770 as a stop loss and buy on dips and avoid uh, you know, looking at um, a trend following system. So now we have used Fibonacci to do the trading uh, in that manner. Then if you want to go for a slightly uh, 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 different type of uh, uh, system, that, that is what I'm saying is, you, know, you want to look at it uh, slightly differently uh, using smaller numbers, then uh, you can always look at the, the, uh, uh, the last important flow was 17, uh, uh, 80, uh, 1782, right? So 1782, so you add uh, 21 rupees, or uh, because that those are Fibonacci numbers. 1782 plus 21 comes to 1802, 1803 levels, okay, and uh, then 1782 plus uh, 34, then it comes to around 18, uh, 15, 1816 levels. That is where we saw some important resistance. Then 1782 plus 55, that comes to 1837, uh, uh, 38. That is where uh, no, uh, it, it is right now. So we can use those numbers also to uh, uh, to do some uh, trading. So right now, uh, uh, let's look at uh, the smaller, uh, uh, that is the uh, Fibonacci, which can probably for the smaller, uh, uh, this one, uh, stop loss. Now let us say I'm drawing a Fibonacci from this low to this place. That is, I'm drawing from 1783, 1783 to the recent 1847, right? So it took support closer to 1832-33 levels. The 38.2% comes to the 1823, 1823, then 1816. Now it rallied from 18 not, uh, I think this is 18 not, uh, 18 not 5. So the last important low, next important low can come up to 1816. So you can wait. So uh, the uh, support now uh, comes uh, 1823 and 1816. So as long as it doesn't break 1816, we can say uh, no, we are on the upside. So right now you can keep 1816 as a stop loss and buy. Okay, keep 1816 as a stop loss. So the shorter stop losses. So what I'm saying is the overall bigger picture is 1775 in the uh, gold international chart, and in the smaller time frame it is around 1815 or 1816 as a stop loss. So that is how you can look towards uh, no trading as far as gold is concerned in the charts. Now the same thing I to, uh, uh, probably you know uh, if it, you can translate that the same in the Indian rupee MCX chart and look at it. So now we will look at the next commodity which is the gold which is the crude. So first we will look at the um, uh, Brent crude to understand the international movement. Uh, gold is a much uh, 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 greater trending commodity uh, in the present situation. So I think uh, uh, one can uh, see sometimes even crude can uh, uh, go uh, into a very uh, dicey uh, uh, situation. Uh, if you look at it, the, uh, in, the in this period, it was quite choppy, no? but still much better than uh, no uh, gold. So go, uh, crude is a much better trending commodity compared to gold even in a daily chart or in a weekly chart basis. Right now, if you look at it, the gold is, you know, uh, after uh, two days of fall, it has started to you know, start going up. So this is the Brent crude. So it is 8775, 8774, 75. And if it starts breaking this particular high, today's high, then in that case, we have to keep today's low of 8579 as a important bottom. So right now, uh, crude is a uh, looks to be a buy even today on dips 
with the 85.79 as a stop loss with the 85.79 as a stop loss and uh, the bigger uh, uh, thing is that it should not it should not break this particular uh, uh, this one because a lot of times this has come this is to be an important support so 85.79 so we can keep 85.79 as an important uh, uh, stop loss and trend line basis also we can so if we draw uh, the last two important lows okay so that has also come there right so that has also taken support so 8579 uh, will uh, break below that is going to change the uh, 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 immediate outlook immediate outlook so I think 80, uh, what we should do is that we should keep 8579 uh, as a stop loss and buy that's a very clear message right now and let's look at the hourly chart hourly chart in the last one hour it has started to move up particularly in the uh, New York time uh, so I think uh, now we should also look towards buying keeping this particular uh, low as a stop loss so today that is 8579 otherwise we have to keep the other low which is around 8650 as a stop loss so even even you can keep 8650 as a stop loss you can keep 8650 also as a stop loss and trade now so uh, now be a buyer and let's say uh, we'll go to the Indian prices straight away MCX crude crude oil futures so this is uh, crude oil MCB okay now <coughs> so uh, mm, uh, crude is uh, uh, clearly uh, um, uh, trading much on the upside right now like what how we saw in the case of uh, uh, international price and after uh, some fall uh, early today I uh, know it has started to rise so which means right now we can be a buyer and uh, keeping today's low uh, which came at 60 to 28 as a stop loss 60 to 28 as a stop loss and buy immediately so crude oil in the graph looks to be very very comfortably poised and looks to be a buy on dips today itself and probably even for holding that uh, uh, this one that is the for position overnight now in the case of crude oil I think we have got options also in MCX so if you have an issue regarding the uh, funding of uh, margin or probably fear of carrying an overnight position then in that case you can switch over to the option which has some liquidity there okay so crude oil right now uh, it, uh, looks to be uh, definitely a buy so you can avoid gold and go to crude right now and uh, the international chart price confirms this particular moment so on the international on the fundamental factors which are affecting crude oil uh, generally now we have seen some problem in gas pipeline between Turkey and Iraq there was some explosion so some supply disruption one uh, second thing is the inventory issues uh, then the uh, third is that overall commodity prices in the world have gone up and uh, that is also one of the factors which is uh, driving uh, crude oil prices recently there was some attack in UAE so all these things combination along with OPEC supply uh, demand uh, uh, imbalances have all contributed to crude oil going up right now so fundamental factors are still there as far as crude oil is concerned on the upside and that is what is evident in the chart so unless there is an uh, uh, economic slowdown induced by uh, uh, COVID or something that should it should not happen crude oil is you no know, looks to be uh, uh, fundamentally a commodity which will have some good support time being but how long how because it is a question of a political uh, issue because it's a hot political issue uh, the, the more and more it rises it can create a lot of inflationary pressures across the globe and so there will be a lot of pressure to bring it down but whenever that happens also there will be a good trend where probably we could look towards even going short so crude oil is one commodity where you can look towards going going both on the short side as well as on the long side so crude oil is one please consider that uh, now and in uh, Indian graph also it is now now itself you can go for a buy keep today's low itself as a stop loss and even carry that as an overnight position right so now we will look at the natural gas and international and then copper now uh, crude oil is said now in the hourly chart it, it is there and in 15 minutes chart also let's look at the 
Uh, even in 15 minute chart is uh, it's a little uh, um, uh, tradable i think uh, you know the uh, overall aspect uh, overall thing is looks to be quite uh, tradable in even in the 15 minute chart and in 5 minute chart 5 minutes and all we should not look towards trading because too much of uh, uh, fluctuations can be there uh, uh, in 5 uh, minute chart but nevertheless i think there is still uh, uh, quite a uh, beautiful commodities to till trade in the um, uh, 5 minute chart also so i think you can consider 5 minute chart also for uh, uh, trading yeah so here yeah, right now i think uh, in the 5 minute chart it has started to go up and we can keep this low as a stop loss okay so now uh, we will look at the copper prices natural gas or the international natural gas natural gas futures so natural gas uh, this is a smaller time frame so we will look at the daily time frame so uh, uh, natural gas had a, a big fall uh, you know uh, from around all six dollars so so it's a very 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 volatile uh, uh, commodity so one need to be very very careful because we have seen in the last one month two months itself a huge fall okay as far as natural gas prices are concerned so this will depend again on political issues there uh, uh, with russia being a major uh, supplier to europe so natural gas prices will definitely you know uh, uh, look towards uh, uh, either the upside or downside very rapidly see uh, last couple of days itself it went up from 3.5 to uh, uh, 4.22 right and then from 4.22 it fell down to 3.78 so almost more, uh, a 10% fall happening in 5 6 days time so whether such a commodity is fit for your trading is something which you are to unless because it's too huge uh, volatile and putting stop losses and all is a very painful thing because it will uh, knock you off it will uh, then you will get on board then again do not know whether you have to stay there or not by the time you think about it it can just take you off so natural gas is one commodity which has to be traded very very carefully and uh, let's look at the monthly chart uh, see uh, the amount of rise parabolic rise and equally the parabolic fall how do you trade such a commodity and it has not happened once it is happening many times see here you are spiking high the next time itself it just a spiking low so the moment it goes up terribly you know uh, see here uh, as soon as it goes up then it becomes a top so it it, it is not something which is a uh, uh, which is an easy commodity to be traded it is not at all an easy commodity to be traded and even in the monthly chart it can be very very choppy it can be very very choppy as can be seen between the 2017 and 2019 figure and it can be choppy and volatile within that particular up and uh, lower bounds and if you look at the uh, what we have seen is a uh, uh, monthly chart even if you look at the weekly chart also very difficult commodity to trade so uh, uh, it is up to you to decide whether you would like to entertain yourself and uh, do something on the natural gas because the daily time frame uh, you put a hourly picture so uh, just look at 3.8 to 3.97 so 0.17 it means 3 to 4% right it's a 3 to 4% move uh, in a very shorter uh, duration between yesterday and today so a very rapid movement uh, takes place there so even if you want to put in a stop loss let us say you go short below this so this is the low and you want to go low below 3.867 then the stop loss comes will be either this one which is 3.90 so 1% so minimum 1% stop loss will always be there as far as uh, natural gas is concerned so even if you train a lower time frame of an hourly chart getting a stop loss below 1% is difficult so first of all we have to understand when we take a commodity for trading we must understand whether that sort of a volatility fits us or whether there's a trend whether such a such a commodity we should enter or not because if we have long looked at three important commodities gold crude and copper each one has a uh, sorry uh, natural gas each one has a very different characteristic gold is not at all trending we find it very difficult to train, uh, trade on a trend based system crude oil is the one thing which looks to be uh, uh, tr can be easily traded with some clarity of where to buy today if you want to take a call today crude oil you can buy with today's low as a stop loss that's a great clarity natural gas absolutely not absolutely not because of the huge volatility and the stop losses and the erratic movement that it can present so now we have understood whether natural gas can be traded or not so amongst these three commodities the best one that fits in is a crude oil then you develop a system 
of you know how to uh, trade it now we can even uh, for trend following uh, uh, traders i think crude fits it very very well uh, over a period of time also it does well except for some phases which happens with any commodity or indices so if you look at copper now mcx copper itself will go straight away so we have the right so copper futures so this is hourly chart and in hourly chart uh, huge uh, rally in copper huge rally in copper now uh, keep this in mind we'll just switch over to the equity for just a minute to understand this now on a daily chart mm, copper looks good right copper looks good in a daily chart because it is above all the moving averages and jo uh, 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 copper is also uh, not a easy commodity to trade like gold right now if you look at it it is a very choppy movement in the last couple of months since july there is huge amount of up and down movements huge amount of up and down movements but generally it is held above the 200 day moving average this is the 200 day moving average so generally it is held above the 200 day moving average so if you draw the trend line here so the bigger picture is gives a clarity that it has no it is held this held so unless this line gets broken for some reason that is around the 740 levels okay copper can still be on the upside so what you have to keep in mind is this particular trend line which is drawn keeping all the 200 day moving averages there unless that is broken i think we can you uh, know look towards be on the uh, uh buy side towards on the buy side so uh, uh copper uh, very clearly uh, on the uh, uh, upward movement uh keeping this particular low as a stop loss that is uh, 731 now it's 758 so we we'll look at today's picture now today's picture it is uh, yesterday was a good candle and today is also good uh, uh, beautiful uh, candle developing so we can keep today's low itself as a stop loss and trade now we'll go to the hourly chart so hourly chart it it, it uh, if you look at it it came below the 20 moving average and touched almost the 50 moving average and it started to climb so on hourly chart very clearly this becomes a low so right now if you if you are trading uh, copper uh, uh, you should be on the buy side uh, definitely don't be on the sell side be on the buy side and if you are not already on board as far as copper is concerned you can buy and dips closer to the 755 now it's 758 also you can be a buyer closer to 755 and keep 750 as a uh, stop loss so uh, uh, copper is a much better uh, commodity to trade uh along with crude so uh, now we have uh, demonstrated this with the daily chart uh, we have demonstrated in hourly chart and uh, in the monthly chart also the copper uh, i told you is looks good and this month low january low is 731 and uh, maybe that 731 may not be broken that easily so you can uh, know by keeping 731 as a stop loss for the bigger in the bigger picture in the weekly picture again it is looking good because uh you have uh, one uh, low here and then this is a higher uh, higher bottom and this is another higher bottom so uh, co uh copper in a weekly chart looks to be much better than uh, daily chart so that means we have to get whenever we don't get a clarity in a lower time frame we have to look at a clarity from a uh, from a bigger time frame so bigger time frame you now we are drawn uh, weekly and monthly and copper is still good and as long as it doesn't break the 730 uh, 731 levels i think copper looks to be quite good So that is on a bigger time frame. In a smaller time frame, today we have seen 751 as a very important stop loss. You can even buy. So today we are given two recommendations. One is buy crude now, keep today's low as a stop loss. Buy copper and buy and keep today's low as a stop loss. So that's how you make an analysis while doing the trading. Gold as such overall, uh, they have already illustrated keeping 1860 as a stop loss even for position. And the bigger picture is 1765, 1770. As long as it doesn't trade. Uh, below that you are still on the slightly on the long side but it will it will be between 1750 and 18 1870 or so on the upside so once it touches 1870 it starts look look like dropping there you have to look towards going short so this is the uh, general thing and uh, we have already said natural gas it is better to avoid because the, uh, it, it's too too volatile and uh, sometimes it is choppy sometimes it is volatile so it is better to uh, uh, avoid natural gas so uh, this is as far as the commodity analysis is concerned so we will look at uh, you know uh, before we uh, uh, wind up today we will just look at the uh, uh, our 
indices also there is equity indices because of the huge volatile movement that has been taking place for the last couple of days. So, it may be of interest to look at that also before you wind up. But before that, since I showed you the copper chart and copper looks going up, let us look at some of the Indian uh, uh, metal stocks. Now, we look at um, probably Indalgo, uh, JSW Steel or Tata Steel. So, Indalgo Industries. See, uh, mirroring that uh, weekly chart, uh, undoubtedly, you know, uh, is also forming a higher top, higher bottom. So, Indalgo, uh, even in a weak market, uh, you know, Indalgo is looking good. So, even when the market was falling, uh, you look at it, the last couple of days, market was falling, so, but Indalgo has done well. So, uh, um, uh, sorry for the disturbance due to certain technical issues. Now, uh, the overall uh, index when it is looking weak also, in Indalgo was uh, uh, is not looking that weak. Indalgo is looking still uh, strong enough and uh, you know, uh, 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 today copper prices are going up. So, there is a chance that probably Indalgo will uh, know, uh, continue to do well. Now, let us look at the other commodities, uh, Tata Steel, Grazim, so Tata Steel uh, on a daily chart uh, looks to be ok because this low is an important low we look at the weekly chart and uh, yes weekly chart also it has formed a double bottom here it has taken good amount of support near the 50 week moving average and uh, uh, since this high, uh, high was broken so since then uh, no it is looking good so uh, uh, Tata's, uh, Tata Steel uh, is one another commodity which uh, uh, another stock which is looking good right now and probably you know we could have gone even long about this particular high keeping this low as a stop loss and uh, no we would have still uh, no been uh, successful as far as uh, Tata Steel is concerned right so Tata Steel is one stock which is doing well uh, now we will look at uh, probably uh, Grasim uh, or uh, JSW Steel like Tata Steel, JSW is also ok. So, these are uh, two commodity, uh, commodity strips are ok even a falling market ok. So, that is gives an indication that if the copper price continues to go up then we will have a good uh, uh, rally there. Uh, but uh, we, we, we look at the uh, uh, other things which depends on oil on oil derivatives as an input Asian paints which have declared good results. So, we will just look at Asian paints and see whether the commodity prices particularly now it, 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 it is having problem because of the uh, input margins are under pressure because of the rally in commodities particularly the oil co uh, oil uh, uh, this one so let's look at the asian paints and uh, asian paints of course the last one two weeks it has fallen in tandem with the uh, uh, what we have seen in the uh, indices uh, so it has also fallen from 3550 levels to this particular level of 50 moving average so probably it has come to a place where it it may take support. So there is a fall in tandem with the uh, uh, rise in crude prices, and also with the fall in uh, indices. So uh, the commodity stocks are looking uh, still bright because of the rally in the commodity prices that are taking place. Now we will look at the um, uh, Nifty today. Generally, uh, Nifty uh, 50. Uh, okay, today uh, it came and took support uh, at the 50 moving average, which is the 17,505. So there may be some resistance as it goes towards the 17,775, 776, because that is where the 20 moving average is. So good chance that probably uh, no uh, today's uh, uh, low may be a very important low, and uh, if it is going to start its rally from this particular high, if it starts breaking this high today, then uh, no, we should be going long, which is. Uh, this is the daily chart and so daily chart uh, shows 17,943 as a uh, uh, 17,705. So, 17,705 
So anything which is above 17,705, I think no, we should uh, be looking towards going on the long side. So uh, uh, let's not bother whether 17,000 market is like this. We have to take a call of 17,705 and put 17,485 as the place where we need to put in a uh, stop loss. Where we need to put in a stop loss. So uh, uh, the uh, the trade call is like this. That uh, you know uh, uh, the <coughs> overall position is that you know what we were uh, the long position which was generated somewhere here now it's still kicking and I, I will have a stop loss only below this if it is going to start rallying from here then this will become a loss so for a 200 rupees uh, likely stop loss for position trader you are getting a very good chance to be on the long side so uh, 17,705, 17,706 is a place where probably we should be looking towards going on the long side of the market right so now uh, we will look at the uh, 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 weekly chart in this in nifty so nifty weekly chart is looking good there is no doubt about it so i think uh, we should be uh, uh, see uh, after it started moving above this particular uh, high which is what we said 17640 so it came down to 17500 levels or so but this may be a very important uh, uh, support level as far as the uh, nifty is concerned so we should be looking towards be on, being on the uh, long side uh, in nifty with uh, 17,700 particularly if it is broken so let's not get shaken by what is happening but global uh, bank nifty also we look at the bank nifty Industry Bank weekly chart also weekly chart it's look, looking good. There's no cause. Though, though there is a fall, I think you know that fall uh, probably is a part of a correction right now. It's still part of a correction. So we should be looking at uh, no uh, once uh, no uh, things settle down. We should be looking towards going on the long side and particularly today's low. No, what what happened today? Uh, no, it's a very important low probably thirty seven thousand two twenty five. So thirty seven thousand seven thirty one. So if it starts breaking 37,731, so that day we said that no, if it starts breaking below this low, get out of it 38,007, right? So uh, it has fallen down and it has come down to 37,225. That is where we said the clustered supports come closer to these places. So probably yes, it can go a little bit down, but this place itself, it starts going up, then we should we can be looking towards going on the long side as far as uh, uh, Bank Nifty is concerned. So uh, 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 we should be uh, we should not be too uh, worried about uh, this. I think we should be looking towards uh, piling up on the long side as far as Bank Nifty is concerned. And about 37,731, it is stop loss coming closer to 37,225 levels. So if you look at this from the uh, uh, hourly uh, perspective, also I think. Uh, uh, we uh, uh, the uh, right now it can go up to 38,090 or so. It can go closer to the, because that's the uh, where this clustered support uh, resistance come in the hourly moving averages. It can go quite closer to that and have some fall, but I think probably it will start picking up. So in hourly chart, I think Bank Nifty uh, looks to be uh, uh, I think on the upside with this break with this break that is taken place that is with 37,645 which has taken place in the last one hour of trading the last session I think probably we are looking to be on the buy we are looking to be on the long side of the market we are looking to be on the long side as far as bank nifty is concerned so uh, now uh, okay, the short position is over and I think probably we should go on the long side with keeping this low as a stop loss right now so uh, uh, look towards any change that takes place on Monday or Tuesday but budget is coming so we need to be careful about our uh, investments and uh, trading aspects particularly investment normally will recover even if there is a fall okay so with this we are winding up today and so any questions please ask thank you
thanks for your participation hope to see you next uh, week with some other uh, uh, topic and good night and stay safe thank you